Los Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We'd like to welcome you to the show Nadia Lee. She has been reinventing fashion retail in the age of social media. <laughs> Congratulations on the massive success of Collected. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited to be able to work with you, to wear the jewelry. Mm -hmm. It's been a really amazing experience. Oh, thank you. We'd love to have you as one of our influencers right. as well. It's such a cool um, concept of what you guys are up to. Tell us about the concept and how you're how you work and how you're bringing fashion to the next level. Yeah, so basically Collectin is a social commerce app or it's just a mobile app really for you to shop jewelry um, from the contemporary jewelry designers that are available right now um, through influencers. So we usually say influencer, maybe, you know, for us, maybe it's just a woman of influence, someone who has influence among their friends, uh, maybe among their social group. Um, also, we have professional influencers as well. So our influencers range from someone who has like a thousand following to a million following. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's kind of where we started because I've been in the industry for about 20 years. So I kind of uh, created Collectin because I saw a need um, and I wanted to change the market as well, the, how, the way it's, yeah, it's being done. So educate me more. Pretend like I've never heard of what an influencer is or whatever. So you basically take the, the brand, the designers yes. and the people are an influencer and you help, help them wear, the, the influencers wear the collection, yes. correct? Yes. So back in the days, we, um, 20 years ago, I've been in the industry for so long in the industry so back in the days there are all these boutiques and they would come and shop designers like myself we would have a brand and then you would go buy wholesale and then put it in your boutique um, but nowadays as you know the distribution channel is kind of disrupted there's not that many boutiques not even that many stores left so we want and then we were beginning to work with a lot of influencers um, because that is the way to go so what we did is what we uh, we built like virtual retail stores on the app for these influencers who are now functioning as a store owner. They go and pick and curate the jewelry they like from the different designers. So it could be designers like myself, it could be designers like Rebecca Minkoff, Kenneth J. Lane, um, whoever they like. So mm -hmm. they function as a buyer. Um, they do what they do best, which is to curate the jewelry. They know what looks good on them. Uh, they put it in their little virtual store and they promote it to their audience. Mm -hmm. So whether it's their friends and family or their followers on social social media channel. It's however they want to be entrepreneurial. And yeah. it's really cool because a lot of these pieces are very, very chic, but very accessible. I mean, your price point <laughs> really it, it's a nice range and it's not intimidating. Yes. Mm -hmm. So because the idea is you're uh, virtually replicating the model of a retail store and a wholesale model. So as a store owner, you get to open up your store. So if you're an influencer, you open up your store and you get to buy things at wholesale. So if you're buying for your own store, like if you were to dip into your own retail store, you would just be buying it uh, at wholesale. And we actually do extend that privilege to the store owner. But of course, if you shop outside to someone else's boutique, you'll have to pay retail. And that only is right because an influencer would then make the difference um, and be able to monetize their following. And right. yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's their it store. It seems like this is the yeah. entire wave of marketing. I mean, it's, it really comes down to who truly has community. And this is so important, I think, for all of us. And I really, truly believe that this is our, our nature is to be in community. You know, we used to have tribal kind of community. We've kind of, everyone's kind of been divided and now everyone is gonna to have to come together in like-mindedness and building community and having these things. So fashion is such an interesting community. Yes. What, where do you see the fashion industry going? Um, well, the fashion is changing so fast. So fashion designers are like ourselves. We're like learning to catch up. Um, so fashion is, it's like, Everyone needs fashion. And so it's going to keep evolving, but if we don't support the designers, it's not going to get innovative um, because our designs are going to get shot down. We don't have the audience to sell to. So when I started, I had this big dream that I'm going to help all the jewelry designers like myself because I just want to survive. And that's kind of where I started it. Um, but then I see fashion. As long as we support the designers, um, we support the people behind the creative, then it will go forward. It will continue to go forward and inspire other people to love fashion as well. Who inspires yeah. you, Nadia? Me? Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. That's a good pick. Yeah. Right. I was like, oh, I want to be a little Asian Oprah. Because <laughs> yeah. I saw her a very powerful woman, um, very smart, intelligent, and she's also a minority, and I'm kind of a minority too. Um, so, uh, yeah, I looked up to her, and I, I used to watch her shows right? in college. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. She's my, yeah. yeah she's yeah. all of Oprah. She was, a, she was an OG 
influencer, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. She's the first major influencer. <laughs> so if I could say that I um, am out there somewhere in the world and yes. I have a social media account, yes. okay, and I want to be an influencer and I want to, you know, partner with you and participate, how can I get involved? Yeah, you just contact us. Yeah, it's, that easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's that easy. Or if you have a friend who invites you, um, it's like a referral service. Um, and then we just look at you and, and see, you know, like yeah. Yeah, we have some criteria that you have to meet, mm -hmm. um, invite some friends. We've got to make sure you actually have friends um, that you actually love jewelry. Um, just simple criteria. And there's different levels of influence that you can work your way up to. So we won't just like throw you in there with all of our big influencers that have like a million followers. Um, we'll start you off and we'll teach you and coach you. You, um, show you how to take photos, how to upload photos, how to wear jewelry. I mean, jewelry posing, it's actually a, a whole art by itself. Um, there's different ways to pose, different ways to show off jewelry. Um, then I feel like Jeslyn's neck. Yes. 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 Rose Avenue, if you're in yes. Los Angeles, mm -hmm. definitely pop by. It's going to be open for the next 10 days. I'm yes. actually going to be there next Thursday. And I'll keep reminding you of that La La Land every single day. Yeah. <laughs> so yes. tell us a little bit about the shop. So the whole idea is that we wanted to just showcase all the jewelry and the designers and also the influencers' virtual boutiques. In a, in a place that people can go to and just check it out. So we have a pop-up for 10 days and the whole theme is about women empowerment because we want to encourage all the women to come and check it out and to learn to be entrepreneurial, um, to kind of uh, talk to other women of influence, um, to talk to other just women entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So we have people from like uh, founders of beauty companies um, to influencers like Jaslyn, um, to I even invited my plastic surgeon and friends to like you know give a little bit a talk about how you know uh, what women need and how to like you know how to approach a, a doctor for example I mean just all sorts of mm -hmm. things that are interest to women um, and also a little bit of uh, we even have workshops on uh, how to increase your social media engagement um, how to become an influencer so and all sorts of things there's more yeah. information about the panels and who's going to be featured every day yes. on Eventbrite correct yes, exactly yes and, and we can RSVP <laughs> RSVP on Eventbrite, find Collectin. Where can people follow you? Uh, at Collectin, uh, or you can contact us. Uh, hello at Collectin.com. <laughs> Perfect. With a K. Yes, with a K. Yes. And come meet me at their pop-up chef on 7547 <laughs> Melrose next Thursday. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Good morning, Lawland.